the morning everybody so i took yesterday kind of as a break from vlogging honestly i'm glad that i did because we didn't really do a whole lot um i went to work as normal and then i came home and i did get one quick clip from last night because we did go to my mother-in-law's for like gingerbread house hey, <laughs> hey baby and that is the only clip that i got <laughs> until Ella decided to start throwing up everywhere. <laughs> she threw up <laughs> when we were leaving it. Yes, I owe me a laugh, but the whole thing was pretty funny. When we were getting ready to leave my mother-in-law's last night. Oh, jeez, some crackers. Sorry, my iPad just fell over. I was making sure I didn't crack it or anything, but where the heck? Sorry. I'm a mess this morning, guys. My question is, where the heck my uh, battery just went <laughs> um, from my camera. What the heck? Tasty, sorry. All my little Jeffrey liquid lipsticks just fell out of the thing too. I'm trying to put those back. When we were leaving last night, Ella was telling me that her tummy wasn't feeling good. Why are these sticking out? Um, and then I gave her a hug. I'm like, oh, you know, maybe you have to use the bathroom or something. So she tried using the bathroom, couldn't do that. So I gave her a hug and all of a sudden I just feel warmth <laughs> from my neck all the way down my shirt. I was covered, covered. <laughs> so we got us both cleaned up and then we had to like bring a bag and she like threw up the whole way home. But at that point, you know, we had a bag so we were able to kind of contain the mess. Um, and then I, I swear to you guys, I maybe got like two hours tops of sleep last night. I am so tired because I pulled her in bed with me last night because when she's that sick, like I like to keep my eye on her. So I pulled her into bed last night. She's a very um, tossy, turny kind of sleeper. So I kept getting kicked in the back. <laughs> so this one was kicking me from the front. <laughs> the other one was kicking me from the back. So needless to say, I was up like every at most 45 minutes like she was getting sick we kept like a little trash barrel like on my headboard and stuff it was just a nightmare and then eventually I ended up putting her in her room <laughs> but I'm like I'm gonna <laughs> leave both our doors open <laughs> so I can hear you but I said girly like I can't sleep like you won't stop moving so and that was at like 3 30 this morning so I put her in her room. I heard her kept getting sick. She got sick again this morning. I took her temperature. It's at 100. So she still has like a tiny fever again. I'm telling you, I feel like this whole winter she's been just sick. Um, but that's what happens when your kid goes to school. You know what I mean? They spread it around like crazy. So she's building up her immune system. So, so be it. But right now she's downstairs because today just happens to be TJ's day off too. And I was going to like go to work because he was home. But we have so much to do today like we have the people coming to fix my windshield for my car then he has an appointment for his car at 11 at the auto body shop to get his rims fixed um and then we have he needed to go to one of the locations he works at to finish commissary like he had so much to do today so uh, as much as it sucks because i really didn't want to lose money because i have been between like Thanksgiving being closed and then like next week is holiday vacation like I'm losing so much money but at the end of the day like I need to be there for my family you know what I mean like my family comes first so um it's still really really early I'm still I'm gonna film my makeup tutorial oh excuse me I'm still gonna film my makeup tutorial this morning um, and be able to get that out while we're waiting. Oh, and we have a Pelica stove guy coming too this morning at nine. So we need to let him in. So there was really no way that like he was gonna be able to get all this done while watching a sick toddler. You know what I mean? So I'm like, well, I'll just let them know that I'm not gonna make it this morning and I will be here to like help, help you in any way that I can. So... Hopefully it's just like a little stomach bug because I'm telling you guys, she was like perfect yesterday. Like she was well behaved. She was feeling fine. Like there was no complaints until like 8, 830 hit. And then from 830 last night up until now, it's been like nonstop. But 
like nothing's in her stomach anymore so if anything does come up like it's just water she's just been drinking a ton of water because she's dehydrated from throwing up and stuff so um yeah that's been my morning <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna get ready I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do today I kind of know my color scheme um but I'm just gonna play around and also catch up on some Chris Hansen versus the Nation because another interview came out last night and uh, I fell asleep during during watching it last night so I missed like all of it so okay I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Sorry guys, today it's been pretty um, rough. <laughs> right now, I we just dropped TJ off to do commentary at work. Um, I had Miss Ella in the car with me, but she's kind of like coming in and out. I'm I call in some food because I haven't eaten anything since breakfast this morning, so I'm starving. Um, so I called in to a place called Mr. Max. So I'm gonna go pick some food up right now. But Ella doesn't really like the stuff there, so I had TJ like whip or something up at work. So when we go back, um, I'll have her, I'll have him give her her food if she's awake. But she is not feeling good at all. Um, I just need to figure out. think I do this every single time but it's the next plaza <laughs> TJ said there's a pull-up window because I didn't put her in her jacket because she had her temp her fever has gone up since this morning so I didn't want her to overheat in the car okay. I was picking up an order for Shayna Shayna yeah I'm gonna ask him if I can Small pulled pork and extra barbecue sauce and bread crumbs, correct? Yes. Um, yeah, is there any way to add a drink? Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have like a bottle of Coke or something? A bottle of what, sorry? A bottle of Coke or something like Coke? that? Coke? Yeah, we have like pretty much every type of Coke you can think of. Okay, yeah, just the original. Okay. That's great. Next part. Oh, thought I lost my card for a second. Until 1284, did you want your receipt for that? I just added it to the payment you had online. Oh, okay. Um, No, that's okay. Okay, just let me run and grab it. I'll be right back. Thanks so much. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I will talk to you when we get back to the restaurant, but I need the GPS to get there, so we'll talk in a minute. We're almost back. That was a nightmare, just trying to get down this street. Everyone's either, like, super old <laughs> and, like, driving 20 miles an hour, or I'm stuck behind, like, garbage trucks or dump trucks or something <laughs> anyways we're about to pull back into the plaza i cannot believe she fell asleep again i mean i can she really doesn't feel very good um i keep getting nervous every time i see a cop car just because my inspection sticker Hey, you know what? I got my windshield done today and I'm still within that 60 day. Like I have the notice right here in case I am, but I'm just waiting for our guy who fixes our cars to call me um, when he, he's working on a car right now that's on the lift. I'm just gonna park here. When she wakes up, I will go get her food. We literally have to drive two seconds, but TJ said that he would call me when he's done in there. So I ended up getting, again, this is Mr. Max. I ended up getting like a pulled pork mac and cheese. I added barbecue sauce. Ooh. I added barbecue sauce and I added breadcrumbs to it. But I am absolutely starving. really really good but to be honest it's kind of kind of expensive like this isn't bad this is ten dollars which i am starving mm. 
Show your mirror. So far, so good. Came home to a house. That's oh. always. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. So it is hot in that here. Is good heat. There's all our pellets. We gotta figure out how to store properly. I don't even know what's in that basket over there. <laughs> Come here. It's hot in here, baby. Nice and warm in here, Elle. She's a shaker butt. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm currently making this girl some toast because that's the only thing I've been able to actually get her to eat today. <laughs> but she wanted to pretend to be a kitty. Hey, how you feeling, girlfriend? A little better? I mean, I'm sure getting some food and you helped a little bit. <laughs> So I'm currently in this room. I'm, I apologize if it's loud. I, uh... Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so this room, we put a lot of her, like, toys. This thing is so loud. So I apologize. But yeah, a lot of her, like, toys. We have some shelving stuff. But I decided... <laughs> Now would be a great time to go through and organize her toys. I'm pretty committed at this point, but we've like cleaned out all these buckets and stuff. Um, because the thing is, when Hunter gets here, Ella has a lot of really little toys. Excuse me. And uh, I'm basically putting like all her like really little stuff in here and then organizing the rest of them in those buckets. And then I'm gonna label them. So I have one bucket right now, and these are like little Barbie dolls, but that are big enough that if Hunter got into them, there wouldn't be a choking hazard. These are her other Barbies that gotta go through, clearly not organized. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. You guys, <laughs> I wasn't vlogging at all today because I was. I'm so far behind on vlogs. Like, I had so many vlogs that were so long that I split into two parts. So, like, every time I'd split it, like, it'd end up in another... Like, it, it would be, like, a whole nother day. You know what I mean? So, I've been kind of taking a couple of days off trying to kind of catch up. And, stupidly, <laughs> I decided to come to the mall... But there's a cop right here, and I'm still afraid about my inspection sticker, so hold that thought. <laughs> can I get a blank piece of paper that I can have the brown, like, muggle in your big bag, like, the uh -oh. white one, and then, and then I'll do all, like, worry, worry your beauty? Like, yeah, we'll see, honey. Then, uh, what is it called again? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. And it was Star Stable. <laughs> losing my mind. I'm sorry. This is so stressful. Hold on. Because I have the right of way. I don't have a stop. I have the right of way. And then I need to get on this side. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> Hold on. I'm in the wrong lane now because I couldn't get in the other lane. So I'm gonna have to cut somebody off as a boy. I'm sorry. This is so stressful. Holiday traffic is the worst. Um, gosh, we're only like a couple days out till Christmas, and it's like, why would I, why would I decide today? Why not? Why not go to a mall? So we we went there for lunch. Well, we went there specifically for her to go to a play place because she hadn't been feeling well the past couple days. So I was gonna have her go to a play place. We played for a while there, but the thing is, like, they were all, like, younger kids, like, between, like, one and three, so she kind of had a hard time, like, actually playing with somebody. Then we got lunch, and there was a literally not a single spot, like, not a single table open at the food court, so we had to go find, like, I don't know if, I feel like every mall has it, because every mall I've ever been in has something where, like, there's just, like, random seats scattered throughout the mall, like, little, like, loungy kind of areas. So, <laughs> Ella and I sat with, like, three old men and had our lunch. 
um, on a couch. She like sat, she sat on the floor and like ate at the table in the middle of all the couches. I sat on the couch and like ate on my lap. Um, and then we went, oh, excuse me. I, I did a little bit of browsing where I went to Forever 21 and the children's place because she's outgrowing all of her pants. Like not all of her jeans, the jeans kind of fit weird, but like the legging kind of pants. So she has such a long leg. So it's always hard to like find her. Like she's always outgrowing them. So the stretchy. yeah, the stretchy pants, like the ones she's wearing right now, her butt crack keeps showing. <laughs> so I had but to, uh, I stretchy them. Yeah, yeah, they're stretchy and I like to have those kinds of pants on top of jeans because like when we go to play places like this or like when she has gym on Fridays like I like her to be in something a little more comfortable, you know And they're cute too if you have like long shirts or something So I got her a couple things. So I'll show you everything that we got like when we're at home The traffic is just too nuts But one thing that I noticed today and I just briefly wanted to you talk about this old tree. What tree? You see a like the bottom of a tree in the window, see? The tree, oh yeah, the tree right here. <laughs> yeah, um, that was old. This is probably gonna be it for today's vlog. But one thing I wanted to mention, because if you're not a woman, you won't ever experience this. And if you've never been pregnant, you may not have experienced this. But I have noticed that like people, I might have met, I feel like either I thought this a lot or I've said it before, but people love pregnant women. <laughs> so we're obviously not everybody, but like I kept getting stopped. I kept getting stopped in the mall by women and men. And they'd be like, you look awesome. Like you look amazing. You look so cute with your belly and everything. And it's like, like just you know coming from such an introverted part I'm like oh thank you <laughs> I just kind of like laugh and I thank them because they go out of my way to give me a compliment but like it, it was just so random like the first time we were walking past I think we we're walking past the Apple store heading to Forever 21 and this woman literally came out of the Apple store just to well she was kind of like standing like just inside the Apple store, I think maybe with her husband or something. And she saw me and she like backed out of the Apple store. She's like, I just want to let you know that you look so beautiful. You look amazing. I'm like, oh, thank you. I just like, I laughed at first. I was just kind of like, so like, oh, okay. Thank you for, you know, very much. All right. This is where things get a little complicated. Hold that thought. Okay. No, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay um this guy behind me is pissed though <laughs> um so that was the first time and then I don't know what it was about me today I was carrying like my big pocketbook um and then the children's place and the forever 21 bag but there were wet floor signs absolutely everywhere in the mall but like on the carpet so I don't know if they shampooed the carpet or something but there were wet floor signs all throughout the mall and I kept knocking them over because the mall was so crowded with people. So I have like bags upon bags on one arm. My belly is out to here in front of me and then I have Ella next to me. So I kept knocking these stupid wet floor signs over and there was one time that I knocked one over and then I told Ella, I said, honey, like, just step aside real quick. I gotta, I gotta get this sign. And there was an older gentleman behind me. And he's like, no, no. He's like, I got it, I got it. Don't worry about it. He's like, but you look amazing, by the way. <laughs> like, what is up with it? Like, I, I don't know. It was just, it's so bizarre. Like, I get more compliments when I'm six weeks away from giving birth than I do like on a like just normal basis. Like I get hit on like maybe once every six months in public. Um, but like throughout the pregnancy, like people love the pregnant belly. So I don't know what it is, um, but I just thought it was pretty funny and just something I, I wanted to share. So I'm gonna get us home safely and we'll be home in a while. It takes a little while to get home. I get to start dinner and everything. Um, Still yeah, we've been doing your advent calendar every night. We've been doing the chain. I know I haven't vlogged it or anything, but we have been keeping up with all that. 
got that pellet stove um like efficiently working it's like 82 degrees in here i'm actually hot let me show you guys though this is what i wore today this is what turns people on <laughs> i'm kidding but i mean i'm oh i'm so big i feel so big i don't fit anything <laughs> it was actually not that hot, um cold out today it was like 48 degrees, so that's why I wore um, this dress. But we just made some ice cream sundaes. I'm losing, uh, you can see outside. I have no natural lighting, so all my lighting is coming down, which is not, not doing me any justice. But anyways, we went to, I just wanna show you real quick before I put it away. So we went to the children's place, and look how cute. The children's place is having a really good sale. I don't know if by the time this gets up, if they're gonna still have a sale, but check it out. Um, Cause this was originally $30. I got it for half off. This is adorable little sweater dress. I love it. I love it so much. Um, super cute. And then uh, as I mentioned, she needed like those stretchy pants. So I got her a pair that kind of looked like jeans and then a pair of gray ones too. Um, so these are really, really useful to have. And I only had like, I have one other gray pair and then I have a black pair and you wear them once. I don't do laundry every day. <laughs> so it's just, it's nice to have a second pair. Um, and then I went to Forever 21, like I said, I got a couple accessories and then I just got one sweater. I'll show you, oh, sugar. I'll show you the sweater in a second. Um, for accessories, I just picked up some more silver hoops. I love big earrings. So I, I felt like I couldn't, can't have enough of those because I always lose them for some reason. I bought two chokers too. I'm wearing one, it's like a silver choker and it has all hearts on it. And then I bought a gold one too, but it's like a layered choker with a little heart. I thought that was really, really adorable. I'm really into chokers, I love them. Here's the <laughs> one for this this one I'm wearing. And then I got this um, sweater in a size medium because I wanted to kind of wear it as like a dress. So I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow with a pair of black high boots. Um, but it's just a Marilyn sweater. And like I said, it's a little bit big, but it's hard for you guys to see. It comes down at a good length, I think. It's just with my belly, it makes everything so much shorter. But I wanted it to be a little bit oversized on me again so I could just wear it with like a pair of boots and have it be like a full outfit, throw on like a red lip or something and call it a day. So, yeah, super cute. I just wanted to show you guys that. 